The future of the world trading regime is at an interesting point. On the one hand, the role of the World Trade Organization has diminished. Some would even argue that the role of the WTO is, is finished. Uh, oh, we won't say that just yet. But what is true is that a number of countries are really focusing their energy and attention on bilateral trade agreements, on regional trade agreements and negotiations. What are the core issues as this new trading regime evolves? I'm going to put that question to Supachai Panish Bhakti, who's Secretary General of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. There is a large canvas we could cover, That's right. but we'll try and stick to the core issues. Yes. And really, in this new scenario, what is the most striking thing you see in the new world trade order as we know it? You see, the new world trade order is going to be circumscribed by so many new issues and sometimes non-trade issues. For example, uh, when we came out of the Rio Plus 20 meeting, we were saying a lot of things in terms of uh, containing the emission of carbon dioxide and using every means to contain it. Trade is one of the areas in which uh, you involve with, uh, with the emissions of greenhouse gases, for example, with transportation, with agriculture. So the implication is that how far would our green economy, our new system of carbon neutral development process would affect trade. And here you have, of course, provisions under the WTO rules that say sometimes you can do it, sometimes you cannot do it. Because normally if uh, some of the trade exercises and activities will have negative implications on human health, then you can be allowed to step out of the uh, WTO concessional agreements. Mm -hmm. That would be allowed. But it is difficult always to interpret as, as to how can you define, you know, when you are uh, in really urgent need of, of taking care you know, of the health. Because sometimes people use that as an excuse to, uh, to put slap a ban or, 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 or extra tariffs so on, on imported uh, uh, flowers, uh, orchids from, from, from Africa, for example. So, sorry. so these are the kind of issues that are going to be the more sticky issues. These are the issues. Uh, besides this, you know about the issues of exchange rates at the moment going on. You know the issues of the mega deals on the, uh, the uh, FTAs areas. And you can go on like that, uh, pre-lateral pre uh, negotiations going on in services, for example. All these are not really new, but uh, new to the way we practice uh, negotiations and new to the trade rules also. So as these developments occur, the WTO, the Doha round, I mean, how would you describe where those two uh, are headed? Well, uh, I have left... Irrelevant? No, no, not really, not really, no. Uh, uh, this is, this is one of the most wonderful invention of, of mankind, you know, in having these trade rules. I mean, we will be needing finance rules, like we have trade rules, but we are not there yet, but at least we have trade rules, which is a set of, uh, of, of issues that uh, it's, it's, it's uh, nearly impossible to put together. But now that we have it, we have to be able to, to preserve it and strengthen it. And so the WTO is the only is only guardian at the moment of this rule. So we have to see to it that these rules are strengthened in the future. Even if we do not finish the Doha round at the moment, there are trade rules uh, that needs to be, uh, to be strengthened, that you don't leave all this uh, interpretation of the trade rule to the dispute settlement body. Uh, and now we are seeing a lot of dispute cases coming up in the areas of renewable products, in, uh, in, in energy renewable, solar cell, and all, those, all, all these issues. And we are seeing also uh, w how are we going to, like you said, finish the round now? Uh, I, I don't think we can finish the round now, but what we can do is to try to, to inch forward in the areas that we have agreed on. At the moment, I believe what Lamy said, we ha Lamy said it's, only, it's already 80% done. done on the table. He said, Super Chai did 60%, I add 20%, so now it's 80% on the table. We must be able to wrap up the 80%, but not actually uh, leaving out the 20%, but leave it as part of the building agenda. Hmm. Building agenda that, you see, the round cannot be a single undertaking as in the past. We have, to, we have to be able to understand that. Single undertaking is when you have 50 members and five areas of negotiation. It's not when you have 100 and, 
and 50 something members and you have 20 areas of negotiation. So it's not, it's not possible. You I'm have to finish something first. I'm going to ask you a very simple question. To all the lay observers out there, with the growth of the bilaterals and the regional trade agreements, does it, can it actually dovetail into the WTO sort of agenda or does it work at cross purposes? This is one area of the Doha agenda that has been, I would say, completed, which is, which is the agreement to activate the, uh, I think what it's called the Committee on RTA, the CRTA, Committee on Regional Trade Agreements, that there would be a, a compulsory registration, whatever you do, you know, with the BTA uh, and, and RTAs, to have it notified to the WTO and uh, register. So in a sense, it's all streamlined. It's streamlined, but of course, of course, uh, what, what, what is to be continued, which is monitoring of the process of uh, RTAs and FTAs, that would be, com uh, uh, that would be uh, uh, in agreement, uh, in, in rhyme with the WTO rules. That is something that is not being done, you see. So it, one thing is to notify it. Another thing is to have a review. As the WTO has this kind of review process for trade policies. But the RT RTA review, which is now part of the, uh, the DDA also, has been started now. So I hope that in the future that with the proliferation of RTAs, that the WTO would be more uh, enabled, capacitated to walk along the line of uh, TPA, trade policy, re uh, TPR, trade policy review, to do the same thing with the RTA. So that regional agreements can be uh, applied in a way that uh, the WTO rules are upheld. You alluded very briefly to financial rules and, and your hope that uh, that ground will also be covered. Why is that so close to you? You see, art? because you s we are seeing uh, either influx of, of funds around the world sloshing around, or you, you see a total dearth of funds for some countries. We, we have to see to it that uh, when people are engaged in financial transaction, whatever, equity, bonds, uh, uh, derivatives, that there should be certain uh, adherence to, to some rules that would make people understand what is happening. I was told that sometime in the depth of the, uh, of the uh, uh, hype of the, uh, before the crisis, when everybody thought when you buy certain CDOs or swap uh, papers that you'll be gaining only money, you're just earning a lot of money, that they're not told that all these things are based on something which has no value at all. I mean, they just floated because they want to They had no spread. sense of the underlying no, no, assets. No, that's right. There's no sense. There's no understanding. There's no sense of the valuation, no sense of the leverage ratio no sense of, of, of uh, uh, the, the, the different, the, what, what the composition of the, of, of the securitized paper. So uh, what we need is more information, transparency. We may not need more control, but there must be some control on, for example, on the leverage ratio. There must be some control on leverage ratio. There must be some process of tracking uh, the, uh, the, uh, the activities, not only over the so-called over-the-counter kind of trade in certain derivatives because nobody knows what's happening, what kind of volume is, is, is being uh, engaged in. You need some clearing arrangement. This is not to control or... or well, it's uh, actually just to prevent something like that's 2008, right, that's right. That's catching the world just, unawares as Just to did. provide more information for those who want to be involved, yes. yes. We'll leave it at that, uh, Mr. Panish Bhakti. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.